Hello dear friends, welcome to the Economics Learners Lab. Myself, I am Venkatesh Kongala. I am the Founder and Managing Director of Economics Learners Lab. We have newly introduced a program called 90 Important Topics for NTA Net Economics, June 2020. Actually, what are we doing in this program? Here comes the answer. 1. Every day we are releasing a one video on particular topic in Economics Learners Lab YouTube channel. The video will be more emphasized on NTA Net syllabus. 2. After detailed explanation or demonstration of the topic, we will provide a few multiple choice questions. 3. If the video length is exceeds more than 15 minutes, we will divide the video into parts. If you are really a serious aspirant of NTA Net Economics, I can bet you that this program will help you a lot. Let's begin the today's topic. Topic number 88 Types of Unemployment This is also one of the important topic for the NTA Net Economics exam. From this topic also you can expect one question. Let us see what we are going to learn in this video. We are going to learn in this video what is unemployment, understand 8 different types of unemployment. After that we are going to solve few multiple choice questions. Let us see what is unemployment. Unemployment. People are ready to work but unable to find a job or not earn for daily living is called unemployment. It simply says if the people are ready to work and they couldn't able to find, it is called as a unemployment. If the people are not ready to work, at the same time they couldn't able to find a job, it is not called as a unemployment. Why this unemployment problem exists in every economy? There are many reasons for unemployment. For example, low level of GDP growth, low level of capital, low level of human skills, low level of technology, high level of population. Like that, there are many reasons for unemployment. If the unemployment rate is very highest or it is going to be highest, how the government or other people will tackle this problem? There are three tools for tackling this problem, namely monetary policy, physical policy, export and import policy. In India, we commonly use monetary policy and physical policy for adjust unemployment rates. Let us go to the next slide. Types of unemployment. The types of unemployment is categorized into eight types that are voluntary unemployment, involuntary unemployment, frictional unemployment, cyclical unemployment, structural unemployment, disguised unemployment, seasonal unemployment, technological unemployment. Let us see one by one very detailed. Voluntary unemployment. It says people are left previous jobs and finding for a new jobs will face few days not employment. This type of unemployment is called as a voluntary unemployment. It simply says people are resigned their jobs and they are finding for new jobs and they are searching for the new jobs. After a certain time period, they found a new job and he got joined. Whatever the searching time, that time he is not employee, he is an unemployee. This type of unemployment is called as a voluntary unemployment. For example, a private teacher has resigned his teacher job in Sri Chaitanya school on April 1st, 2019 and he joined as a teacher in Narayana school on May 1st, 2019. Here, approximately one month, a private teacher is not having a job. This type of unemployment is called as a voluntary unemployment. Let us go to the next slide. Involuntary unemployment. What it says, people are fired from previous jobs and need to find a new job elsewhere. These people will face few days unemployment. This type of unemployment is called as a involuntary unemployment. It simply says the bosses suspended their jobs and the suspended people has to find somewhere job. At the time of searching, they are unemployed. This type of unemployment is called as a involuntary unemployment. For example, a school principal has fired one teacher job for not completing his teacher duties in Sri Chaitanya school on April 1st, 2019 and the private teacher has joined as a teacher in Narayana school on May 2019. In this example, 
once the teacher got suspended in that school he started searching the new job in different schools finally he found a job on may 1st 2019 and he got joined on the same date here approximately one month he is not having a job this type of unemployment is called as a involuntary unemployment so let us go to the next slide frictional unemployment it says people are leaving from the jobs and finding for new better jobs will face few days not employment this type of unemployment is called as a frictional unemployment it simply says people are resigning their jobs and finding for the better positions once he got a better position he will go and he will join into the better position whatever the searching time in that time he is not employee he is a unemployee that type of unemployment is called as a frictional unemployment for example, a private teacher has resigned his teacher job in Sri Chaitanya school on April 1st, 2019 and he has joined as academic executive in Narayana school on May 1st, 2019. In this case, this teacher has resigned himself in Sri Chaitanya school. After one month search, he got a better position in Narayana school on May 1st, 2019. Whatever the whole April month, he is not employee, he is an unemployee. This type of unemployment is called as a frictional unemployment. Let us go to the next type of unemployment. Cyclical unemployment. This type of unemployment also called as a demand deficit unemployment. Business cycles slow down makes unemployment problem in the economy. This unemployment called as a cyclical unemployment or demand deficit unemployment. It simply says unexpected interfere in the economy. The economy business cycle will slow down. Because of this slowdown, the people will lose their jobs. This type of unemployment is called as a cyclical unemployment or a demand deficit unemployment. For example, at the time of financial crisis, many world private companies lay off workers to cut production and costs. Let us go to the next type of unemployment structural unemployment there are two reasons for structural unemployment one labor forces excess compared to a jobs availability two labor skills are not matching to the present required jobs it simply says in economy labor force are very high at the same time jobs availability are very low at this situation there are some people will face unemployment this type of unemployment called as a structural unemployment also one more reason causes structural unemployment that is if the labor skills are not matching the present sector requirement jobs will make structural unemployment this type of unemployment makes economy more worse than any other unemployment for example, in construction sector, there are many labor force ready to work, but the job availability in construction sector is very less. At that time, structural unemployment will exist in economy. Or in second case, in labor force, car drivers are not available, but bike riders are available. But the company needs car drivers. So the skills of the labor force are not matching to the company requirement. In this situation also, there will be unemployment. This type of unemployment is also called as a structural unemployment. Let us go to the next type of unemployment. That is disguised unemployment. It simply says the more number of people are working in sector where what we require. It simply says the more number of people are currently working in that sector, the current working population is already exceed the the requirement capacity in that sector at that time the labor productivity will be declines this type of unemployment is called as a disguised unemployment for example the best example for this unemployment we can find in indian agriculture sector till 50 percent of the people depends on agriculture sector but the productivity in this sector is very low compared to the industry sector and service sector let us go to the next slide seasonal unemployment it is unemployment that occurs because the demand for some workers varies widely over the courses of year it simply says there are some there are some people couldn't able to get a job in particular season in a year this type of unemployment is called as a seasonal unemployment this is a less effective to any country economy because this unemployment seen every year it is a less effective compared to the other type of unemployment. For example, Manali is a tourist place in India where you can see less tourist visit to the Manali in the months December, January and February compared to the other months in a year. In unseasonal time, Manali hotels shut down in December, January and February. 
at this time some of the people will lost their jobs in the manali let us go to the next type of unemployment that is technological unemployment it says introduction of the new technology replaces the labor from the jobs this type of unemployment is called as a technological unemployment it simply says introduction of the technology replaces the labor work or make labor to unemployee this type of unemployment is called as a technological unemployment for example introduction of the atm machines in winkonda city has made some of the workers as unemployee this type of unemployment is called as a technological unemployment so far we have seen eight different types of unemployment hope you have understood the eight different types of unemployment at the same time you understand the what is unemployment what are the reasons for the unemployment how the government will adjust the unemployment rates in economy let us do some of the multiple choice question exercises question number 1 as like a past i will give you 1 minute of time you try to solve yourself after 1 minute i will do the explanation your time starts now stop doing it time of hope everybody got the answer let us see the formula for unemployment rate is choice number 1 number of unemployed divided by labor force multiplied by 100 choice number 2 the number of unemployed divided by total population multiplied by 100 choice number 3 the number of unemployed divided by total population with age 18 to 16 multiplied by 100 choice number 4 number of unemployed divided by total employed multiplied by 100 so let us solve you know the formula for this unemployment rate is choice number 1 is the right answer for this question that is the number of unemployed divided by total labor force multiplied by 100 once you do the calculation you will get a unemployment rate in any country let us go to the second question i will give you 1 minute of time try to solve yourself after that i will do the explanation your time starts now stop doing it time of statement a high rates of unemployment are signal of economy distress but extremely low rates of unemployment may signal an overheated economy yes this statement is right statement b unemployment data are collected and published by the government agencies in variety of ways yes this is also right so the right answer for this question is choice number 4 the both statements are right let us go to the next question I will give you just 30 seconds for this question try to solve yourself your time starts now
Stop doing it. Time up. Which of the following help the adjust unemployment in the economy? Choice number one, monetary policy. Choice number two, physical policy. Choice number three, export and import policy. Choice number four, all of the above. So the right answer for this question is. So the right answer for this question is choice number four, all of the above. So monetary policy, physical policy, export and import policy will use adjust the unemployment rates in economy. Let us go to the next question. Question number four. I will give you just thirty seconds for this question. Try to solve yourself. Then I will give you the answer. Your time starts now. Time up. Stop doing it. Choice number one: agriculture sector. Choice number two: industry sector. Choice number three: service sector. Choice number four: all of the above. You know, agriculture sector is having a disguised unemployment. Let us go to the next question. Question number five. I will give you just thirty seconds for this question. Try to solve yourself. After that, I will do the explanation. Your time starts now. Time up. Stop doing it. Let us solve. Dash type of unemployment is found in developed countries. Choice number one: involuntary unemployment. Choice number two: voluntary unemployment. Choice number three: structural unemployment. Choice number four: disguised unemployment. So the right answer for this question is choice number two. That is, voluntary unemployment can found in developed countries. Let us go to the sixth question. This is the last question in this video. I will give you just thirty seconds for this question. After that, I will do the explanation. Try to solve yourself. Your time starts now. Stop your time up. Let us solve. Dash type of unemployment is affects lot in any country economy. Choice number one: involuntary unemployment. Choice number two: voluntary unemployment. Choice number three: structural unemployment. Choice number four: disguised unemployment. You know the structural unemployment affects lot in any country economy. So the right answer for this question is choice number three. This question is yesterday question. I have done a small mistake here. This question is yesterday question. I have done a small mistake. So the right answer is choice number two, not one point seven six. The opportunity cost for the country B is one point six six. It's approximately one point six seven, not one point seven six. I am very happy for this noticing because you have understood the concepts. Now you can solve this question as well. And thank you very much for watching this video. See you in another video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you in another video.